Why did we even do that? Like, we, we started applying for Y Combinator in 2014 and uh, we kept on going. Getting into Y Combinator was not the objective. Applying for Y Combinator was the objective. They felt like we were approaching the problem the right way. Yeah. And also maybe applied too many times. <laughs> so they almost felt like they needed to just talk to us to see if we are yeah. actually crazy or not. We have raised 17 and a half million dollars or roughly 130 crores. From the initial thought we had, right, uh, the way we actually wanted to solve it was you know, by using technology to build the content uh, and deliver it correctly uh, to make sure that students are actually completing the course because at the end of the day, a great course not consumed is not that useful. And then finally, uh, from an employment readiness point of view, uh, one of the things that we see is a lot of core engineers in India, they don't get jobs not because of lack of technical skills alone, it's also because they don't communicate well, right? Uh, they are unable to present themselves well. So we essentially built product-based solutions to make sure that students can essentially finish the courses correctly. They can get help required from our technical support engineering team. And then finally, there's an employment readiness team, which essentially sends the profiles to companies and then, you know, helps these guys get opportunities. And then uh, in doing this, you know, uh, we were able to essentially at this point reach out to say uh, uh, 5,000 students on a yearly basis. And uh, this number is essentially, you know, growing at the rate of 25% on a monthly basis. Uh, we, on average, place close to uh, 50 to 60 students who will get qualified to the uh, student success phase. And a key differentiator is that we, have, we are essentially placing students in core engineering jobs, which a lot of colleges that are right now operating can't, you know, uh, essentially uh, claim to do so, right? Uh, and if you look at the type of people that are getting placed, you will see people from tier three, tier four engineering college students, uh, engineering colleges who have spent uh, four years plus another two years of job search. And they are essentially taking up jobs that pay somewhere between 1.2 to 1.0 lakhs per annum. And after going through the course, you know, they are able to get into a 4.5 five lakh job in companies like Mahindra Electric and Ola, right? And I think transformations like this is very, very hard to do. I don't think our process is perfect yet, right? I think we are learning a lot by talking to companies on a daily basis. But I think transformations like, uh, like the ones that I mentioned is essentially what keeps us, you know, moving along and what and, and also provides validation to the type of work that we're actually doing. In this journey, we have been fortunate to have some unbelievable partners. Uh, one is the first partner is our employees. From day one, uh, people who joined us, uh, even without knowing what we are, right? Uh, they just had blind faith in Sarang and me, joined us, and uh, have traveled together. Uh, right now, Skilling is 450 plus uh, in team size. Uh, our employees essentially define what we have uh, done till now and uh, the kind of quality of coursework, the support that they provide, the focus on customer success, uh, not just the word of it, but making sure every student succeeds in his career if he puts in the efforts. All those three things become very, very integral part. Uh, the second is our students, uh, students who have believed in us. Uh, uh, if, you, if, you, if you haven't known about Skilling till now, uh, till this video, you wouldn't have known about this because we, we focused on uh, organic growth and did not go uh, uh, spend money in inorganic ways in order to acquire customers, right? Uh, and that's one of the reasons why you wouldn't have heard about us. And there have been so many students who have opted for skilling courses, succeeded. There has been so many success stories every day. Uh, there is Nikit Bowler who currently works at, uh, who currently pursues his masters at Georgia Tech. Uh, and right now works with Altair in the US. Uh, the student that Sarang mentioned, 1.4 lakhs per annum after engineering college. And then he quit his job, moved back, uh, took a skilling master course, got a five and a half lakh uh, role at Mahindra Electric. Very similar 
another student who did his masters in UK did not get a job in UK moved back to India took a master course in uh, skilling right now works for Fiat Chrysler Automotive and I can keep on saying this like there are so many um, there is this uh, female student of us who pursued mechanical engineering in undergrad then went on to work at Wipro for as a software engineer wanted to get back to industry took up a CFD master course went into GK in aerospace and so so on right like uh, uh, and students who have believed us uh, so thank you so much uh, we wouldn't have been able to do that without them The first investor came in as Y Combinator. We and getting into Y Combinator was another story, right? Uh, y Combinator was the first investor, and uh, Better Capital, Viber from Better Capital, essentially believed in us on our first call, uh, and and came in on board and br brought together a whole lot of people uh, in 2019. And now we are very very happy to announce that we are raised 17 and a half million dollars, or roughly 130 crores, uh, and uh, we would like to bring on board Iron Pillar uh, and welcome them aboard. Uh, Anand Prasanna, Mohanjit, Ashok, uh, Dev, uh, all of the team at Iron Pillar who kind of supported us from day one, believed in us and uh, have joined us in this journey to kind of help Skilllink realize the dream of re-engineer engineering education. We believe that it is of great interest for India as a country to build high quality engineering talent and for Iron Pillar to join us in this journey to take us to the next level. We are very glad to welcome them aboard. Um, so, so just to kind of take one step back uh, and, and uh, speak about YC, right? Uh, the two days back, you sent me a photo of uh, uh, eight videos that we did from 2014 till uh, 2019 or 2018. Uh, like, why did we even do that? Like, we we started applying for Y Combinator in 2014 uh, March. And uh, we kept on going. Uh, why did we even apply so many times? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, getting into Y Combinator was not the objective. Applying for Y Combinator was the objective because uh, we felt like, uh, you know, each and every time we apply, we can essentially compare uh, how we did previously. Uh, essentially, the Y Combinator application applications actually helps us keep track of our progress. Uh, I think each and every time we uh, applied in YC, what we felt was the core problem statement never changed. Uh, the different types of solutions, the things that we tried kept on changing. Uh, and I think they got, it, it, it went to a point where they felt like we were approaching the problem the right way. Yeah. And also maybe applied too many times. <laughs> so they almost felt like they needed to just talk to us to see if we are yeah. actually crazy or not. Applying eight times, right? It's four or five years. Uh, and thinking, thinking about four or five years, is uh, the way we thought about YC after a point in time was initially we thought oh we'll get into YC we did not have enough revenue but we had a great idea YC was also young at that point in time uh, but YC grew with us and uh, um, when when we uh, every time we applied I remember writing that application I and I know that whenever I wrote that application I would say there is no way we can make more money than what we are done in this cycle so if we get into this cycle, this is the best cycle. Uh, so we will not be able to make uh, enough money after this. And we essentially uh, kept on doing better. And uh, and after a point of time, it kind of made, we internally internalized that we will do better, right? And uh, at this point in time, probably I need to thank George, uh, who was in the uh, YC school, uh, uh, who- YC startup of, school. YC startup school, who helped us out. And Tim Brady. Tim Brady is one of the uh, partners at YC. And uh, Tim Brady was, I, I think Tim Brady was a champion. He took the uh, t took the risk and said, "Okay, let's invest in these guys. These guys have applied for us in eight times." And uh, um, YC was a game changer for uh, asset skilling. And uh, uh, I think it happened at the right time. Two cycles back, if we got into YC, we would have been early. Right. That's true. Uh, it happened in the right time. As we, as we spoke about YC, as we spoke about our investors, uh, the next question becomes, what do we do with this money that we have raised? $17.5 million is a lot of money. Uh, why do we need that kind of money? And what, what our goals uh, is with that money, right? Um, 
what are we what are what are our plans absolutely so see the reason for starting this is essentially to build job relevant industry courses and i think one of the ways we can actually validate this is by getting jobs uh soon we will essentially be uh, showcasing close to 1000 placements which i think is going to be an amazing achievement but if you look at the overall number of jobs that are available in the market this is still a very small percentage and essentially what we are trying to do is we are trying to undo old curriculum that's in place and that's not easy uh if you are basically trying to undo something that's been there for 10 to 20 years i think the money that we have raised might actually go away very quickly right so the key thing is you know we are focusing a lot on content preparation you know we are focusing a lot on how do you make sure that you know the students are able to learn industry relevant tools how can we make sure that the faculty that comes into teaching this these courses is very very good i think those are some major focus areas and you know we almost talk to uh you know one company a day you know we talk to companies in the likes of lnt robert bosch mercedes benz almost on a daily basis right now to understand not not only their current uh talent requirements but we are also looking at you know how how does the next three quarters look like in terms of uh talent planning and i think in order to streamline that get those requirements convert them into courses and then making sure that within skilling we have really good technical specialists who can actually work with all these oems to create content to build teams that will be responsible for student outcomes is a huge task and i think that's the primary plan right yeah and yeah. overall surya the aim is to you know get to a place where skilling as a whole is responsible for placing at least 50000 students on a yearly basis and i think when we do that we would have scratched the surface yeah. and we would have at least helped improve employability a little bit a little bit yeah uh 50000 50000 students on a yearly basis is probably 10 percentage of jobs that will be available in the market and and we want to kind of uh attack that and that's and and we want to attack that at a faster pace and say probably over the next 2 3 years we want to hit that number um as saran summarized uh high quality content which is more industry relevant work with the industry to understand what the content should be make that content available to all of you so that you can become better engineers that's step number 1 um build a team that make sure in the core of it uh we still solve the problem uh, uh, the problem that we both faced as engineers uh the problem so many engineers face in india and across the world uh of the lack of high quality engineering education uh if we are able to solve that's the problem statement that the whole team at skilling is trying to solve and that's something that we are building right now as i said 450 we are we have so many open roles where you can come in and if you're if you're looking to make an impact in engineering education uh you can come in and and do a lot of things uh for us um do check out our careers page uh, below this video uh that is this career page if you are a student do check our courses uh take a look at it uh, you can schedule a, a career counseling session to understand more um but uh all in all uh this is a unique opportunity there is no platform which is focusing as much as we do in this particular problem and if we are able to solve this problem um we essentially might be an engineering university that uh, that caters to 10 percentage of 10 20 percentage of engineering population and uh, provides high quality engineering talent the world needs high quality engineering talent india has the demographic strength a lot of our uh, population is in the 18 to 26 category lot of the uh, world's population is higher the world population uh, average is higher than what india's population averages and we essentially contribute to like 25% of engineering uh, graduates every year across the world right now if we are able to build talent we are not building talent only for our nation we are building talent for the world and if we essentially build talent for the world india by itself becomes very very strong um that's essentially what we are trying to solve and, and if we are able to solve that that's a huge opportunity for us to build a big company of course but it's a opportunity for us to kind of solve a very very uh, important problem for the whole nation itself right uh, so we have courses in civil electrical electronics computer science mechanical engineering right now 
and uh, that's where we will be focused on over the next two three years and build content that um so got it and guys as surya mentioned right uh, i think we are looking for like minded people you know who have a extremely good academic background and have rich industrial experience and now want to give back to the engineering community of india right if you are someone like that i think you know you would fit uh, well in our team because i think uh, in order to um, you know achieve this mission or in order to succeed in this mission um, i think content is definitely a key piece uh, but however we need people who have actually been through this path and have, uh, are actually doing extremely well right now in terms of uh, uh, doing cutting edge stuff in engineering uh, your input in this in this mission can be extremely useful for us